Okay, dear students, let us see how to do this question now. A satellite X of mass M orbits the Earth with a time period capital T. <clears throat> what will be the orbital period of satellite Y of mass 2M occupying the same orbit as X? Okay, so the question is that let us say there is this planet and there is an orbit. This satellite of mass M, let us call it like X or something. So the radius of this orbit is small r. So the question talks about the time period. To find the time period, that is the time taken by the satellite to reach the same position once again, once around the circle, uh, we have to find that time. So how are we going to find this time first of all? Obviously what we will do is we will see the circumference that this satellite is going to cover and we are going to divide it by the orbital velocity and for that we must know the expression of the orbital velocity. Now how is this orbital velocity um, derived? So I'm going to give you the uh, a little derivation also here the little background for the topic you see uh, this is the gravitational force that is acted upon the mass and the same force is acting like centripetal force now. So what I can say is that the centripetal force is equal to the gravitational force. Now centripetal force for that sake will be mv squared by r at that position and what is going to be the gravitational force now that is this and you can see m is the mass of the satellite and it is just getting out of the equation now. So overall for the orbital velocity we have this expression and we can see that it is independent of the mass of satellite. It depends only on the mass of planet and only on the radius of the orbit. But now what else? Let us now write the expression for the time period t. So time period t can be taken as 2 pi r divided by v naught which will be root of gm by r. Now we are going to square both of the sides so it will become t square is equal to 4 pi square r square and this square root it will become gm by r and now this denominator will be uh, making reciprocal and so it will become 4 pi square r cube divided by gm and there we have t square is directly proportional to r cube so you can see that Kepler's law is valid here third law Kepler's third law now fine okay so this is the expression for the time period and now you see from this expression it is evident that the time period for the revolution does not depend on the mass of the satellite it means whether the mass is m or whether the mass is 2m it doesn't actually matter to us until and unless the orbit is the same if the orbit is same the time period is going to be same hence our expression will be b i could have given you the answer in the first 30 seconds only that the time period is independent of the mass of satellite but by giving that you would not be having the background of the topic or the proper information like why the time period does not depend on uh, the mass of the satellite and this is how we do it so my dear students this is professor Varun. please subscribe to the youtube channel also uh, share the youtube channel with all your friends all the best Bye.